try to solve a uh, truss structure or an indeterminate truss using structural matrix analysis of a truss. Following the same step-by-step -step procedure from the first eight-part lectures on module uh, 2. Okay? So, basahin muna natin yung problem. Determine the joint displacement, which is basically your uh, uh, local displacement and global displacement uh, values. Then, member actual forces and support reactions for the given truss. Using, again, the uh, matrix stiffness method. Ito yung ating truss system. Zoom lang natin ng konti. We are truss system given that we have a uh, hinge, hinge ruler loaded si joint 2 ng downward 150 kips to the right 75 kips and another 75 kips on the ruler at node 4. Remember the steps that we have considered on matrix stiffness method first is for you to uh, identify your nodes or your joints. We have here the uh, pre-identified nodes 1, 2, 3, and 4. There are two hinges and one roller. So basically, as, at your first glance, it is now classified as an indeterminate truss. Then next is for you to uh, name your elements or your members. We have member 1, 2, 3, four and of course five and the third one on the uh, first step is for us to denote our uh, near far uh, direction kung ano yung ating uh, node near at saka node far on this figure makikita na natin that node one to two is the near far for member one node uh, 4 to 2 is the near far for member 2. Node 4 to 1 is the near far of member 3. And node 4 to 2 is the near far for uh, member 4. And lastly, node 3 to 4 is our near far for member 5. As you can see here, ayan na yung arrows natin, near far. Huwag kakalimutan yung near far condition. Kasi laging doon naka-specify yung ating uh, horizontal vertical axis forces later on on each member. Then lastly, step 2 is for us to provide the axis forces on each nodes. Remember, laging mauna ang ating axis forces horizontally then vertical. And the lesser number will have to give the node forces. So, ano yung known forces sa truss na yan? Basically, those are identified at node 2 and node 4. Ano yung known forces sa node 2? The horizontal vertical forces, which is basically the applied force 150 kips downward and 75 kips to the right. And lastly, the horizontal force at node 4, having a roller of positive uh, 75 kips and the rest on our axis forces are identified as unknown so 1 2 3 then 4 5 6 and 7 laging pansinin nauuna si horizontal bago si vertical on our numbering 7 and lastly vertical 8 on the roller so more likely ito na yung ating final format on our matrix analysis or, or generating our matrix analysis on a indeterminate truss. So, later on sa mga problems with regards to your assignment, quizzes, and exam, ibibigay ko na yung nodes at saka yung uh, member elements. No? Anong pangalan ng nodes? Saan yung node 1, 2, 3, and 5? So, for so long, pati yung elements. Kayo na mag-designate nung inyong near far pati nung inyong axis forces. But, as much as possible in your axis forces, laging na o una sa numbering yung known forces. Then, susunod yung mga unknown forces which are your reactions. Okay? Now, first things first, complete the parameters of each members with regards to the height, 
with regards to the vertical length, horizontal length, and its hypotenuse length. Okay? So, punta tayo sa member 1. Hindi ko hindi discuss lahat ng member ha pagdating sa parameters. Basta naumpisan natin yung member 1 and 2, pare-parehas naman na yung formula niyan. Nagbabari lang yan, depende doon sa component ng inyong member. Kung naka-incline ba yan, horizontal, vertical, may x and y axis and all that. So, member 1. Member 1 is from node 1 to 2. Okay? So, ang, re ang uh, forces and deflection natin is counting 4, 5, 1, 2. Then, our near-far condition is from node 1 to node 2. Ano yung horizontal length ni member 1? Based on our figure is 16 feet. Para constant doon sa ating modulus of elasticity as shown here and, uh, and area or cross-sectional area, you then convert 16 feet into inches. 16 times 12 is basically 192 inches. Uh, nga pala, modulus of elasticity of the given structure uh, uh, truss is 10,000 kilopascal. Uh, kilopounds per square inch on each member and cross-sectional area is 6 inches squared all members so properties of member 1 horizontal 16 feet vertical is 0 so 16 feet into inches is 192 and basically that is also your length 192 compute nyo na kaagad si cosine theta which is 1 then sine theta is 0. Cosine theta, h over l lang yan. So 192 over 192 is 1. V or the sine theta is V over l, which is 0. Then para kompleto na yung ating global stiffness matrix, compute na rin natin yung cosine theta squared, which is 1. Cosine theta times sine theta, 0. Sine theta squared is also 0. Then your stiffness value, which is your Modulus of elasticity times the cross-sectional area of the member or element over the length of the element, which is 312.5. Para mas madali, oh, as sa inyo na to, gumawa kayo ng calculator nyo sa Excel. Input your area. Lahat naman ng member ay pare-parehas ng cross-sectional area, pati modulus of elasticity. Nag-iiba lang sa length. So, member 1 has a length of 192 inches, converted from 16 feet. So, it will then immediately give me the stiffness value, EA over L, of 312.5. Wag niyo pong i-convert yan, ha? Wag niyo uh, i-reduce yung LM, uh, number of, uh, tawag na dito, decimal. Dire-direcho yan. So, wag na kayong mag-change into two decimal places. Basta buo yung kukunin yung decimal places. Or if you can, if you can, do it in fraction. So, EA over L. First things first is to input your cosine theta. We have identified cosine theta of member 1 as 1. Sine theta is 0. Then, ano yung una nating sinasolve sa matrix composition ng member? Which is your local stiffness matrix. Ano yung local stiffness matrix? Local stiffness matrix is basically EA over L it is EA over L times positive 1, negative 1 of negative 1 and positive 1 matrix. Mumultiply lang natin yan dyan sa matrix na yan. Okay? So, meron na tayong EA over L, which is 3, 1, 2.5. Multiply that to this matrix. Positive 1, negative 1, negative 1, and 1 gives us the multiplication of a scalar quantity in a matrix, diba? Which is this one. Diretsyo na kasi to. Okay? Gives us the local stiffness matrix of member 1. 312.5, negative 312.5, negative 312, and positive 312.5. So, halimbawa, kakagawa mo lang Excel mo, Ganito, para gumawa ka ng sariling property ng iyong Excel para sa member 1, you could simply just copy the value only. Huwag mag-control V. Value lang ang kailangan natin. Punta sa paste, condition, uh, paste option. Then, we have paste only the value. So, with that, ang, ang ipipaste lang natin sa cell is only the value. Hindi niya ko-copyahin yung cell location. 
So, value lang yung kailangan natin. Next up is our transformation matrix. Ano yung formula ng transformation matrix? That is, basically, transformation matrix of a member is cosine theta, sine theta, 0, 0, 0, 0, cosine theta, and sine theta. Dahil nga, calculator ko na ito, diretsyo na siya. Ito na yung kailangan ko. So, ito na yung transformation matrix ni member 1. So, I'll just have to copy the value, not the cell. No, copy the value on the cell, not exactly the location from which the cell has been computed. So, value lang laman nito. Mapapansin niyo if I click the cell, 1. Diretsyo na yung value niya. Ito na yung transformation matrix ni member 1. So, how do we compute naman the global stiffness matrix? Halimbawa, nakalimutan mo yung formula ni global stiffness matrix, which is Ea over L times a matrix of 4 by 4. Cosine squared, cosine sine, negative cosine squared, cosine, cosine sine, and negative cosine and sine, and so forth and so long. Nakalimutan mo. Meron naman tayong formula na the uh, transpose to compute for the global stiffness matrix of member 1, that is basically, okay, equal now to the transpose matrix or the transpose matrix of the transformation matrix times the local stiffness matrix times the transformation matrix. So, paano yan? Unahin muna natin yung transpose form ni local, ay ni transformation matrix. So, ano yung program natin in transformation or uh, transpose form of transformation matrix? Paano mag-transpose? Basically, babalik ta rin lang natin yung location ni column at ni row. So, basically, transformation matrix, transpose natin yan from 2, to, uh, 2 by 4 magiging 4 by 2 yung ating transpose transformation. Basically, that is equal the transpose of the transformation matrix. Pag matrix ang pinag-uusapan sa Excel, do not forget to use the control shift enter to perform the command. Control shift enter. Ito ngayon yung transpose form ng transformation matrix. Then, first is for us to multiply that on our local stiffness matrix. Multiplying a 4 by 2 matrix with a 2 by 2 matrix. Ano ang product natin? Dito ko na lang ilalagay. Transpose ni uh, transformation matrix times local stiffness matrix bago natin i-multiply with the transformation matrix. 4 by 2, multiply that to a 2 by 2 matrix, gives us a 4 by 2 matrix. Equal. Paano mag-multiply ng matrix sa Excel? Matrix multiplication or M mult. Open, close, Sere select the first multiplier, then yung Pangalawa, which is your local stiffness matrix. So, expected as expected, dapat ang dimension ng product ni transpose transformation matrix with the local stiffness matrix has the dimension of 4 by 2. Then, don't forget, pag matrix ang pinag-uusapan or performing functions of matrices on Excel, control, shift, enter. Ito ngayon yung product ni Transpose transformation matrix times local stiffness. But that is not yet our global stiffness matrix. We still need to multiply that to the transformation matrix. So, ito ngayon yung ating global stiffness matrix for member 1. For member 1, ano yun? Ito na yung product natin. Multiply na lang natin with the transform uh, transformation matrix. We have here a 4 by 2 matrix, multiplying that to a 2 by 4 matrix. So, parehas yung column with the row, may multiplier. 
So, we will then have a product of a 4 by 4 matrix. So, kumuha ka ng 4 by 4 cell matrix. 4. Multiplying M mold matrix multiplication of this set of matrix. Multiply that to the transformation matrix. Close parenthesis. Huwag kalimutan. Then, control shift enter. Ayan. Pag hindi kayo uh, diskompyado kayo sa value, extend nyo lang yung uh, cell, yung column para makita niyo yung decimal. Then, don't forget your grid. So, compare natin. Yan ba yung lumabas exactly using our calculator? Of course, parehas na parehas yan. Okay? So, that will serve now as the global stiffness matrix of member Tawag na dito, of member 1. So, wag ko muna burahin yan para dire-diretso ako. Then, member 2. Ah, o pala, member 1. So, eto yun. Kopyahin lang natin. Ilagay ko doon sa properties ni member 1 under global stiffness matrix. Control C. Then, paste only the value. Wag mag-control V. And don't forget your numbering. Ano yung near-far node condition ni member 1? Node 1 to node 2. Axis forces coming from node 1, 4 horizontal, 5 vertical, 2 horizontal, and 1 vertical. Lagay natin doon sa gilid at doon sa taas. Row, this will serve as your rows and columns. Urahin ko lang to. And ito. So, meron tayong U4. U4. E5. U1. And V2. Kopyahin ko yan. Control C. Paste transpose. Para i-paste nyo siya horizontally. Yan lang naman yan. So, important yan later on for us to compute our general global stiffness matrix para ma-isummate natin sila, no? So, rahin ko muna to. Structure matrix ni member 1. So, meron na tayong ganyan. Kompleto na yung global stiffness matrix ni member 1. Eh, ilang member yung trust? Merong 5. So, basically, continue with member 2. Complete the properties or matrix properties of member 2. Starting with its element. Horizontal, member 2. Kita dito, member 2. Has a vertical length of 12 feet. Horizontal, 0. Hypotenuse length is also 12 feet. So, convert that into inches. 12 times 12 is 144 inches. So, horizontal is 0. Vertical is 144. Length is also 144. Computing cosine theta. H over L. Sine theta, V over L, cosine theta squared, cosine theta times sine theta, then sine theta squared is also 1. Then, of course, your stiffness value. Parehas naman si area, do not change that. Modulus of elasticity, parehas then. The length of member 2 is 144. So, ibibigay na niya kagad sa akin yung aking stiffness for member 1, which is kips per inch. Then, the local stiffness matrix Copy ko na lang. Paste the value. Then, same goes doon sa aking transformation matrix. Don't forget, cosine theta is 0, sine theta is 1 for member 2. Then, copy, paste natin doon sa properties ni member 2. To check again your global stiffness matrix, ayaw mong gamitin yung general formula ni global stiffness, ganun pa rin tayo. Transpose ni transformation matrix. Delete ko lang. Equal to the transpose of the transformation matrix of member 2. 
close, don't forget to control shift enter every time you're performing a matrix function. Then multiply this with the local stiffness matrix of member 2. M mult matrix multiplication of the transpose transformation matrix of member 1 times the local stiffness matrix of member 2. Control shift, enter. Ito na ngayon yung ating product. Then multiply that again with the transformation matrix of member 1. Equal M mult. This one times transformation matrix of member 2. Okay? Then close. Control shift. Enter. Check natin. Parehas ba yan dun sa ating calculator? Oo naman. Parehas yan. Ito yung ating global stiffness matrix for member 2. Copyhin lang natin. Paste only the value. Then check the coordinates or the axis forces on member 2. That is node 4 to node 2. Huwag kakalimutan. That is 3 horizontal, 8 vertical, 1 horizontal, and 2 vertical. Tama ba? 3, 8, 1, 2. Ganon din do sa column. Okay? Then same goes to the succeeding members of our trust. Member 3, member 4, member 5. And how are we going to compute the general structure? to a general global uh, stiffness matrix of our truss, yung buong matrix system na nung ating truss system. There are two ways. You can use the command uh, if error vlookup and match function. Napakahaba niyan. Formulate niya yung command na yan kung gusto ninyo. Or you can do the long method. Isa-isahin natin. I-map out natin yung structure matrix ni global stiffness matrix for member 1. Ano yung ginagawa natin sa assumption of general global stiffness matrix? K okay. Column to column, row to row. So, we have row 4, row 5, column 4, column 5. Hanapin natin yan sa ating structure. Structure matrix, ito yon para sa member 1. Row 4, row 5, column 5, column 4. Nandito. So, paste natin dito. How about row 1, row 2, column 4, column 5? Row 1, row 2, column 4, column 5. Lagay natin dyan. Ay. Value. Yung value lang, kailangan natin. Then, row 4, row 5, column 1, column 2. Row 4, row 5, column 1, column 2. And lastly, row 1, row 2, column 1, column 2. Ito. Paste lang natin dyan. And the rest on our matrix structure for uh, member 1, will then serve as 0. Okay. Lahat yan, magiging 0 na lang. Then, same uh, procedure will be done on member 2, member 3, member 4, and member 5. So, we can submit them by row and by column properly. Then, obviously, summation of cell. Paano gagawin yun? That is equal to the summation of this cell. With this cell, with this cell, and with this cell, and lastly on this one. Para sa 1 is to 1, column and row. Okay? 
enter. Then, simply copy the same formula. Pare-parehas na yan hanggang maabot niya yung uh, 8 rows and 8 columns. So, for this song. So, parehas din. Parehas lang yan. Okay? Or you can use this long formula. If error V look up, then match. Search nyo na lang. Meron yan. Pero hindi ko ibibigay. Napakadali naman na ng trabaho nyo kung ganon. So, after formulating your structure stiffness matrix or general structure stiff, uh, general global stiffness matrix is for us to perform our partition of matrices. How are we going to part uh, par uh, perform partition of matrices? Let us first identify the known forces and the unknown forces on our axis forces. The unknown deflection and also the known deflection. How many on our truss system are a uh, known forces? Those are 1, 2, and 3. Tatlo. How many are unknown forces? 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Then vice versa yung ating deflection. Unknown deflection, horizontal 3, horizontal 1, and 2. Known deflection. Anong known deflection? Known yung deflection sa hinge. 0, 0. So, 0 si 4. 0 yung deflection sa 5. Then, ganun din sa hinge. Walang horizontal vertical deflection sa node 3. So, 0 si 6. And 0 si D7. Then, of course, wala namang vertical deflection si roller. Or kung walang dinefine na deflection settlement, just give it a 0. So, yun na yun. Then, partake natin. Partition of matrices of general structure matrix. Tatlong unknown ay tatlong known forces. Ito yung ating matrix section. Tatlong unknown deflection. Ito yung ating matrix section. Pero meron tayong limang known deflection. Okay? And that's the point that we'll have to introduce the reduce general global stiffness matrix. Given na zero na yung uh, deflection sa D4 to D8, hindi na natin kailangan si column 4 to column 8. Kasi wala namang impending deflection doon. Tanggalin na natin yan. So, ito na lang yung ating magiging matrix. To solve for the unknown deflection and the unknown reactions. Then, First stop is for us to define the joint load matrix. Ano yung known forces? Those are identified at axis 1, 2, and 3. Based on our figure, di ba? 1 is positive 75, 2 is negative 150, and 3 is positive 75. So, uh, joint load matrix, positive 75 kips, negative 150, and positive 75. Same goes with the joint deflection matrix. Ano yung known deflection? Sinabi ko kanina, starting at D4 to D8, zero lahat yon. So, lagay lang natin dyan, zero. Using the reduce matrix, eto ngayon yung magiging final form ng ating structure general global stiffness matrix to compute for the unknown deflection and the unknown reactions. Then, perform the augmented matrix for deflection. Laging mauna sa ating uh, computation ang deflection bago ang reaction, lalo na kung indeterminate structures. Augmented matrix for deflection, that is the known force equal to matrix S11 as shown on our partition. Ito yon S11. Ito yung S12. Ito yung S21, ito yung S22. So, S11 times the unknown deflection, 3, then add to the S12 section, ito. Then, multiply that to the unknown uh, deflection, D4 to D5, uh, D4 to D8. So, bakit natin tinanggal or ginawang reduce matrix? Tinanggal na natin yung column 4 to 6. Kasi, 
if we multiply as you can see this is a 3 by 5 matrix and a 5 by 1 matrix so conformable if we multiply them both m mult of matrix this matrix multiply it on this matrix definitely will gives us will give us a zero value okay so zero lahat yan so definitely zero so maka cancel so kaya tinanggal na lang natin siya doon sa ating structure matrix so never mind that one same goes dun sa nasa baba so noon yung ating uh, forces p1 p2 and p3 substitute lang natin diyan which is equal to matrix 3 by 3 times 3 by 1. So, how are we going to do that? Divide this constant on this constant. Pero paano yun? Wala namang division of matrix, di ba? So, we could simply reciprocal. That is inverse. Ay, tama, reciprocal. Inverse of this matrix, multiply it on this matrix. So, how do we perform inverse of a matrix in excel same dimension 3 by 3 equal to m inverse matrix inverse of this matrix then shift a uh, control shift enter ito ngayon yung inverse ng matrix na ito then multiply natin siya with this matrix which will give us the deflection on axis 1, 2, and 3. Matrix multiplication of this matrix with this matrix. Close, control, shift, enter. Parehas, of course, parehas yan. Ito ngayon, yung actual deflection at load 2 and load 4. Load 2, horizontal 1, vertical 2. Then, load 4, horizontal Okay? Or, you could just simply do this one long formula. 3 by 1 equal to m mult of the inverse, matrix inverse of this matrix, multiplying it on this matrix, uh, with this matrix. Close, control, shift, and Parehas lang, which are all in inches. So, ito yung ating deflection or unknown deflection at node 2 and node 4. D1, 2, and 3. And lastly, the reactions at the support. The reactions at the support. How about the reactions at the support? We have five unknown forces starting at P4 to P8. So, as much as possible, sundin natin yung 5. 5 rows, then yung columns. 5 rows, P4 to 5 is found on this section of our structure matrix. From this, da? multiplying it to the known, or uh, to this uh, solve uh, deflection, D1, 2, 3. And this one, adding it up on the product of this matrix section times D4 to D8. So, kinopya ko na lang yun. The unknown forces, which are your reactions at the support, times the S21 section matrix, times the solve deflection D1 to D3, plus the section matrix S22, times the known deflection. And again, that is a 5 by 5 matrix. Multiply that to a 5 by 1 matrix whose elements are equal to zero. So basically, that is equal now to zero. So cancel na natin yan. Note, maliban na lang kung merong impending deflection sa isang direction sa mga ito. Kung alibaw, may value si D7, may value si D8. May mga ganon, no? Which will serve our next example later on. So zero na yan, cancel out. So, Substitute the solve D1, D2, and D3, then multiply it on this section. Iburahin ko ito para makita natin kung paano yung computation. Equal now to the matrix multiplication 
of this 5 by 3 matrix dimension with this 3 by 1 matrix. Ano yung resulting product? That's supposed to be a 5 by 1 matrix. Control, shift, enter. Ito ngayon yung reaction sa ating support. Hinges at node 1, hinge node 3, and the roller at node 4. Negative, so going to the left. Positive, upward. 4 and 5, meron ka na, horizontal, vertical. 6 and 7, sa so node 3. Uh, to the left and going down. Then, P8, going upward. As shown in our assumption. Ay, as shown in our figure. No, Magbabari na yan. So, yun na yung ating deflection and reactions. So, kung merong deflection, merong reaction, of course, hindi mawawala yung ating end displacement and end forces. Ano yun? Yung ating force sa bawat member. Kung compression ba yung member or tension. And the actual deflection at the end joints of each member. Kasi yung ating computation based on a two-dimensional thrust considering both X and Y axis of a member. So, we'll have to convert it again into a local coordinate system following the axis of the element within the truss. So, meron na tayong reaction, meron na tayong deflection. Horizontal, vertical yan. Now, we need to convert the uh, global coordinate system into a local coordinate system. How do we do that? Identify the end displacement on each member using the co global coordinate system, which is your V, and convert it into a local coordinate system by multiplying the transformation matrix of member 1 or any member with the identified end displacement of the global coordinate system. Ano yun? Yung global coordinate system, yung actual near far node natin ng member 1, which is 4, 5, 1, 2. So, lately, kanina, na-solve na natin yung deflection sa 1 into, then 0, 0 yung 4 and 5. Yun na yung ating end displacement on a global coordinate system for member 1. So, V1, member 1, 4, 5, walang deflection on a co global coordinate system, 0, 0. Then, 1 and 2, we have just computed that as 0 0.275 and negative 0 0.321. <coughs> o, yan na yung ating end displacement on a global coordinate system. How do we compute and convert it into a uh, local coordinate system? By multiplying this matrix with the transformation matrix of member 1. So, gawin ko ulit yung transformation matrix ng member 1. 192, 1, and 0. Ito yung transformation. Ito yung V. Kopyahin ko lang ito. And this one, just the value. Then, para makita ninyo, delete ko yan. Equal to the matrix multiplication of the end displacement under global coordinate system, multiplying it on the transformation matrix of member 1. Parang yung transformation matrix kasi is uh, helping us to define the components of the member along x and y axis. Then, babalik natin siya along a local coordinate system. Then, control, shift, enter. Ay, bakit nga yun? M mode of shift with this one. Yan na ba? Equal to M mold of this matrix four by one I baliktad transformation matrix two by four with four by one. So four uh, two by four, four by one gives us a two by one matrix. 
Control, control shift, shift enter. So gaya niyan. Magkakaroon din talaga kayo ng mistake pagdating doon. Na pag, pag binaligtad mo, hindi mo kakuha yung actual value kasi non-confirmable yung kanilang dimension. So, M mode of the transformation matrix of member 1 multiplying it with the uh, N displacement on the global coordinate system of member 2. Control, shift, enter. So, yan na yung displacement along the member. Yung exactly on the axis of the member. Then, computing on the actual force of the member, which is your end displacement of the member on a local coordinate system. So, how do we do that? Multiply the local stiffness matrix of member 1 with the end displacement of uh, local coordinate system of member 1, which is your U, LK times U. It's equal now to the M mode. Don't forget, mauuna si LK. 2 by 2, multiplying it to a 2 by 1. Control, shift, enter. Now, if Q1 turns out to be a negative and Q2 turns out to be a positive value, therefore, the forces on that particular member is in tension. And vice versa, if Q1 is positive and Q2 is negative, therefore, the Turn force on that ka. member is uh, compression. So, naka-conditional formatting na lang ako, kagaya nito. So, if the value of Q1 is less than 0, which is basically negative, therefore, the, uh, the force on that member is tension. Either way or beyond that, it should be compression. Same procedure will be done in computing the reaction, ay, the forces on the member 2, 3, 4, and 5. Identify the end displacement on a global coordinate, sis, uh, global coordinate system. U3, V8, U1, V2. Lagay nyo lang dyan. Multiply it on the transformation matrix of member 2. So, compute na natin yan. Then, multiply the local stiffness matrix of member 2 with the uh, uh, end displacement on a, uh, on a local coordinate system. Gives us member 2, which is in compression. Then, member 3, in tension. 4, in uh, compression. And lastly, 5, in tension. And don't forget to summarize your result in your cross figure as shown here. Ito yung ating summary. Ito yung reaction sa node 1, reaction sa node 3, reactions on node 4, the applied forces 150, 75, and 75, the deflection on each nodes, 0 sa hinge, 0 sa hinge, Zero yung vertical ng roller, pero na-compute natin yung horizontal. Na-compute din natin yung horizontal vertical deflection in inch ng node 2. And lastly, apply the forces on each member. Identified tension si member 1, si member 2, 3, ay, 3, 4, and 5. Huwag kakalimutan yung summary. Then, your tables, lalo na yung general global stiffness matrix. Question. Isang oras, apo. Wala naman, sir. <laughs> Dami, no? Yes, sir. Lima pa.